Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the stream. We are now live playing some more Albion Online. I forgot to add this to the stream title, but we have drops enabled. There we go. Update that. Alrighty, so we are now heading into Albion Online. I gotta go and boot up the game really quickly. I'm so excited to play this game. It's gonna be tons of fun. Hey, Let's see. If Albion? Where'd you go? Oh, there we go. Starting the battle eye service. Alright, so it is loading up now. Sorry, I'm just helping out the wife really quickly with some stuff on our tablet so that she can watch stuff. Takes its sweet ass time, don't it? Oh, I'm so excited to get into Albion. I have a ton of stuff that I've collected that I haven't accessed yet because um, I've been waiting to do them on stream. Alrighty, so let's get into this. That's so blocky. <laughs> I never noticed that. That's awesome. Just double check that so that, that stuff's gone. Oh, okay, yes, so we got some new stuff. Marketplace notification, novice scholar robes sold for 57, scholar sandals for 23, uh, fire staff for 73, scholar cowl for 23, and toma skulls for 23. Also, all my, all my mage stuff was sold. Do I have anything? I have no current orders around me. Do I have, was stuff returned to me? No, doesn't look like it. Sweet. Okay, right, so, um... So yes, uh, as you can see, I did sell some new stuff. That is because over here, um, uh, there we go. Over here, as you can see, um, Warriors Forge Crafter, I've gotten to Journeyman. Rangers, I've gotten to Journeyman. I've also gotten the Mage Tower Crafter to Journeyman. And I've gotten the Toolmakers to Journeyman. So I can now go and make uh, Tier 3 for everything from the uh, five different factions. Or four different factions. Uh, but I do have that done. But now, quickly, I want to go in here. We're going to go and... Um, 
stack, sort, click, 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 click. Click and now sort stack sort again. So right over here we have this, this, and this. Why do I have this novice tag? Why are these here? Oh, I guess I didn't sell, so they went into my storage. I guess because I have those. But I have this here, and this, and this. I should have another one. Um, here, I'm going to quickly check my drops. Because I did, there was another... Um, so I got some of that stuff from Twitch, uh, Twitch drops. And apparently I didn't, I either didn't complete the, uh, current Albion Online one. So I'll have to go and do that, uh, at a later, I'll have to go do that later tonight. Um... Uh, but we'll have to go do that later because obviously I'm streaming and everything. So apparently I didn't complete that, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, I do have these ones though. So if we go into my inventory. So a chest awarded for participation in the community, opening it adds valuable rewards directly to your inventory. So let's use that and see what we get. Wardrobe skin, exiled monk's walking staff. Consuming this item permanently unlocks exiled monk's walking staff on this account. Actually really nice. I accept uh, this one so this one again we also got this from uh, the uh, twitch drops so this is uh, another community chest this one gives me the wardrobe skin green navigators hat that's not bad I like that as well as community token this token is earned by salvaging rewards from community chests that can be exchanged for other items I'll have to figure out where that is useful uh, but then I have also gotten this from both from playing both on um, uh, PC as well as on mobile devices, and it apparently adds a pile of tomes. So this is Adept's Tome of Insight, a crystallization of ancient wisdom. Instantly rewards ten thousand combat faint. Make sure to wear eligible gear when consuming this manual. So I think that's for these things here. So that's pretty, that's really cool. So let's go ahead and use that. And use that. And so now we are able, we should be able to put on. Okay, so yeah, uh, here. So we can apply that to our hat. And now we have. Now we have a green navigator's hat rather than whatever we have. And then I can go and put that on. And now I have the walking stick. So we're not actually going to use that right now, but I am going to use that hat. The other thing I have received is this. This is the Chimera riding horse skin that I got from playing on both PC and mobile devices. So I haven't done a ton of stuff 
um, off uh, off camera. The main thing was that I went and used, I, I went and completed uh, these uh, factions and everything. I got them up to tier three makeable ob uh, items, so then I can make the journeyman sickle if I have the materials, which I don't. Uh, but I can go and make the journeyman stuff when um, for all the different places. What I'm going to work on right now is getting the neat cloth and thick leather to make the journeyman's bag and the journeyman's cape. So I need... What is that? 16 of each? No, 12 of each. I'm dumb. I am very dumb. I've been having, I've, I, I, we've had very long, very busy days recently, so I'm, I'm very exhausted. <laughs> we've gotten so much done recently around the house and for our lives and everything that it's just, it's nuts. But yeah, so that's going to be our current goal is, um, getting the neat cloth and thick leather necessary for... Um, actually, I'm just going to keep all of these in my inventory just for a moment. And then I'm going to use all. Whoa. Whoa. I cannot wait to find out what that did. Okay, so... Oh, we have these milestones. We got Adept Adventure, which means that we now have access to the Adept... Uh, to the Adept Mounts. So I need to figure out how to get the Adept's Ox. Placed in a pasture can be used to craft an Adept's Transport Ox. So I need a pasture? Jesus Christ, we have gotten... We just got so much stuff with that. Damn, we are definitely going to have to go, um, so let's see, Leather Hood, we've gotten to level 4 of 10, sorry, 4 of 100, so what does this do for me, Adept Mercenary Hood, Hunter Hood, Assassin's Hood, Royal Hood, Stalker Hood, Stalker Hellion Hood, Hood of Tenacity, Mistwalker Hood, and Spectre Hood. So does that mean I now have new things that I can craft over here? No, I don't. I guess maybe because I'm still in the starter area. I'm still like in the starter area, so... Um, so because of that, I'm only able to get it like tier three or something like that. Alright, stack, sort. What are these things called again? Community tokens. Jesus Christ, can, that stuff is still going off. Welcome, friend. Alright, 
we are gonna sell this novice cape. For 60. And this novice bag we are going to sell. I wish there was a button. I wish you could just like hold down the button. And it would go down rather than you having to tap it over and over and over again or type it in manually. Alright, 320. Perfect. So it appears that most like um, from what people are saying, most likely the um, community tokens are only used for buying skins. So that's whatever. All right, so we I think we're going here. Yes. So we're going to the fractured ground. I don't think we've gone here actually yet. I mean, we've gone here, but not much. So we're gonna go here to the fractured ground because we're gonna go and pick some cotton to go and make. I have unclaimed rewards. Oh, there's the Twitch drop reward. Yeah, okay, so that's given us this. This other community chest. So let's take... And we'll use... And that just gave us community tokens. Are you fucking serious? Oh, these appear to be useless. Well, let's just give you more. Thanks, Twitch. Uh, this is actually really funny. I'm not even gonna lie. So we now have 20 of those. Ooh! Ooh, I got Axe Master I got Axe Master up to level four. Does that give me access to that other skill? Combat specials. Ooh, what's this? Kill creatures with tier th uh, tier three plus with journeyman's battle axe are better equipped. Okay, so I, don't, I, I do have that. Plus two, plus point two, uh, bonus to item power for all axes. Plus two specialization bonus to all um, to item power for battle axes. Oh, that's interesting. But I want this. So what's the rest of this stuff? Oh, these are the different axes. Okay, that's what that means. Okay, so I want to look at this, though, because, yes, we got Rending Spin. So level 6 for Life Leech. Okay. But we got Rending Spin. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I want to use. So let's go and check in my inventory. Swing your axe in a 5 meter radius around you, dealing physical damage based on the distance from you. Applies one. Yes, this is what I want. I don't want the... Um, I don't want the rending strike because I'm pretty sure that's the one that throws it. No, that's the one that throws it. I'll have to see which one I like more when we go into combat. But time to time to go and hunt some creatures. So we are going to hunt down some creatures, get some rugged hide and everything. Um, actually, how do I make the hide that I'm looking for again? I forgot to check that when I was still in town. This resource is depleted. Hmm. So I want this. I want the thick hide. So I need to get thin hide and stiff leather. And stiff leather, I need rugged hide for. So I need rugged hide I, uh, no matter what. Let's go pick the cotton. All 
Alright. So I don't know how much we're going to go and collect for all of this. I do want to go and try doing another dungeon. At some point, I would like to go and try that out and see how that, how we fare with that. And just complete some of the other quests that we have. But I want to get a... I don't have an axe. Or does it use my does it use my battle axe? That's awesome. Heretic animal cages. This object does not do anything special. It looks nice though. Interesting. I wonder how many of those things I can interact with that I just haven't. Ah, you're gonna give me Mobird, you're gonna give me some of the stuff I need. Sorry man, you has to die. Alright, so now that we've used that a few times, we're gonna go ahead and swap it back to rending strike and see which one I like more. This is the best way to do it. Hey, we got Axe Fighter. So does that mean... Yeah, okay, so I can now spend 8 learning points to complete this level and get closer to Life Leech. Not going to do that, but I can do that. Takes so long just to get that one thing. <laughs> Genuinely thought I had finished it, <laughs> just started walking away. All right, let's grab this others, uh, this other flanks. Yeah, see this this here, the solo dungeon. That's I want to go and check that out as well. I wonder if I go and do that without starting the quest for it, if I'll need to go and do it again. I think I like rending the spend one more. So we're going to go ahead and swap that back. Because I definitely love rending spin. I wonder how much of this stuff I should go and grab.
Have I collected this flax already? Yeah, I have. So this one's this one's still not fully replenished. We'll grab the three while we're here. Then mount and go and search for some other stuff. bad for my poor mule just sitting there like this is fine as a cougar and a dude uh, as a cougar and some chick with a fucking battle axe are just sitting there fighting around it I know it's probably really selfish, but I saw that dude sitting there and I'm like, uh-uh, you're not taking those animals. No, he just left the animal there. How long is that protected loot for? Okay, one minute, 12 seconds. We'll be back. There we go, found some more cotton. We do need more of this still. goes never to be seen again Ooh, what's this ah an item was sold our novice bag sold for 294 that's nice Some <laughs> It was, I didn't think it was going to kill him. Ooh, I hear a cougar somewhere. And yeet? No yeet. ability to do again release an adrenaline boost increasing all your damage by 25 percent movement speed by 40 percent your auto attack speed by 40 percent okay so right yeah we need to start with that i know i've already picked it so it's only going to be three but i really want this cotton Okay, so let's check this out. Let's try this. So start with that. spin <laughs> I got an adept tome of insight unlocked 
Ah, that's from my daily stuff. I really want to get this. I have 14 days, though, to do it. I don't think it's going to happen unless I start playing more off-camera or I start streaming uh, more. Oh, what's that good? Oh, wait, no, I just reached the learning point. I haven't actually completed it yet. It goes up by so little. Every time. Like, that's the big thing about it. Ah, these are only three because I haven't had enough time to replenish. Shaisa. Alright. Well, let's leave this area. Let them replenish. Let's go back to where we were before. You need to replenish. Same, do you, same with you. Oh, but I don't think I've actually... Oh, don't mind if I do. Grab this. And let's grab this. Let's see what oh, that's not the right thing. We're at ninety percent carrying capacity. Okay, we're good on rugged hide. You know, we're good on pretty much everything, I think. I would like to get some more thin hide and a little bit more cotton. So let's see if we can find some more of that. Oh hey, we'll just look at that, more cotton. Quickly hydrate. Uh. There's some more cotton. Am I getting more health the more I do stuff? Let's see. So I'm at 1674 right now. Let's go and pick this cotton right here. That is weird. I go down in HP when I start harvesting and then back up to full when I'm done. Ha, motor bird. Flax, 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 ah, flax. All right, with that, we are over carry capacity, so we are done. 
You are not allowed to you are not allowed to exceed your max load when using the journeying back ability. Well that's shit. Let's quickly grab this cotton here. What for is? All right, we are now at 104% carry capacity. So we are 4% over our carrying weight. Let's uh, let's leave. I want to touch glass sphere. This object with does not do anything. Okay. Then don't make it look so enticing. All right, back into step cross. Now we walk alone. I'm going to continue walking alone. all of that and then let's just craft all of that that's possible Farewell. <laughs> and then I, yeah it is you hello dear, hello, dear. Sure. and then craft hey. all the neat cloth that we could need make a journeyman's bag so that we can increase our carrying capacity and a journeyman's cape which I genuinely don't know what it does. <laughs> what does this thing even do? Oh, okay there we go stats there. Alright so let's see. Max energy plus 3.6, energy regeneration 0.05 per second, item value 32. <coughs> Ooh, tickle in my throat. Ah, that that felt awful. Sorry about that, everybody. Right, well, I need to put that on so I can go and heal. Uh, I can go and repair my stuff. What is this? Reroll quality and salvage. Alright, so now let's replace this and this. So this allows us to go increasing our max load by 43 kilograms, while this allowed us to have 22 kilograms. Honest Obviously, much better. We want to sell for about 4% at max higher. We go for about 4 or 5%. Go. Play the market. Upgrade the premium now and pay 50% less tax on also. How much is the premium? I know I could just buy it. There we go. So let's see. 12 months. So no matter what, I'm in the millions. I need 232 million just to get 12 months. we go now we're gonna head over here and we're gonna store 
that there, that there, that there, you there, and you there. Sort, stack, sort again because I always forget to stack first. There we go. So now we're going to go and talk to this person here. Well, actually, uh, before we talk to him, actually, let's talk to him first, grab our quest, and then we'll do it. Combat, the open world, except. So now we need to use our inventory. I'm not sure why. And then use the dungeon map. What is the dungeon map? How do I use a dungeon map? How do I use a dungeon map? Open World Dungeons offer vastly more fame and rewards from than expeditions do. Equip tier 3 journeyman's equipment, use a dungeon map, enter the dungeon, return to Royal Commander of the set. Oh, is that this thing over here? No, that's the expedition slash um Uh, expedition slash um yeah cause I'm, I'm wearing the best that that uh, has to offer Sticking with the pointy end. oh oh journeyman's dungeon map okay so that's that's that okay I have nothing, I can't upgrade past the battle axe here yet. Alright. Let's use this. Alright, so we need to go to Gopher's Knoll and go to that dungeon there. We're going to Goffer's Knoll to find this dungeon. I just tap on this and just will it take me there? Tap. Tap. Tap tap tap. Nope, won't take me there. Uh, Alright, let's do this.
so it should be right around here, right? There it is. Solo dungeon. Is this person gonna make me fight him? Is this is it gonna make me fight him before? He's dead. I'm at full HP. Let's go in. Oh, what was that? Enter into the unknown. Enter a randomized dungeon. All right, so we need to loot a chest and kill the heretic beast. I like that there's no time limit on this one. Nope. Random activation. Are you an innocent? Nope, you are not an innocent. Why would I think anybody here is an innocent? Let's just piss off all four of them. Get him into a line and yeet. And yeet. God, do I love this battle axe. The battle axe. Very fun. Nah, you'll make this way too easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and decline. Oh, no, I just came from here. What am I doing? Alright. Okay, so around here. Can I? I can't. Huh, just now realizing. Sorry, no, I want uh, this one. Just now realizing this is just a question mark. I'm sorry, what the fuck is that? I really wonder why that person messaged me. I, I don't understand. Probably should have just ignored it, but and I don't worry.
Okay, I gotta wait for this to charge because I want to try something. Can I just yeah, right there. Okay, two. Wait for it. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Nope. Keep my eyes out for a chest. As best I can, at least. Ability, Jesus Christ. I love when it won't let me use my ability. <laughs> I was knocked out by a heretic fire starter. The combat is, I'm not the best at the combat in this, but I think I found a chest. Lost my chestity. Oh no. Unlock your first chest. Oh no. Uh, beginner's bag of silver. A non-tradable consumable item which will reward a large amount of silver when open. Nice. Oh god damn it. God damn it. I killed both of them. I'm sitting down there looking at my skills to figure out what I'm going to do, and I've already killed them.
I just got fucking clapped. Literally. Alright, well, unfortunate, but we press on. Alright, so... We are just going to... Oh, you're back at full health. There we go. I always forget about this. I need to remember to use this. Oh my god, that did nothing because you two just charged me. Not doing too hot on this dungeon. That's definitely the heretic beast right there, the heretic boss. to cast this, cast this, yeet that, yeet that, Jesus fucking Christ, the brawlers. So was that not the boss? <laughs> not right now. Fuck me. Journeyman Soldier's Boots. That's nice to sell, at least. The boss is this way, though, I'm pretty sure.
That's the boss. That is 100% the boss. Okay, so we need to start picking them off. That's what we need to do. We need to isolate the boss. Oh, hey. While we're here, we just gained 300 from the novice bag, so that's awesome. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got one of them. Just eat that at them. Oh, don't run away. Feckin' cowards. Now the boss is all alone. And we're going to start by throwing an axe in his back. I just need to wait until I'm full. A, full health, and B, have my fire shield, my inferno shield again. Holy fuck. <laughs> Heretic old shopper. That is fucking scary. So we're just gonna disengage really quickly. We're gonna heal up and then go back in. Christ, I can't maneuver well enough. Why do I keep doing that? Damn, that one got me. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Damn. I have all of our stuff's good.
It's the fact that he moves with that. I need to hit F. That's what I need to do. I need to hit F when he does that. When he does that attack, I need to hit F and navigate away. Oh my god! He just kills me like instantly. Try this out. No, we're going to, we're going to keep. Relentless sprint on. Alright. So now we start with W. I go one, go two. See, this is why I don't use the fucking buttons. This is why I don't use the buttons. Because, of course, my dumbass would just start channeling and using fucking energy regain. Holy fuck, break free. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's that's the detection radius. I know I said I wanted to do a dungeon. I regret that decision. I regret that decision. All right, let's just finish up with the energy. Grab that. Stand there. I'm, I should be out of detection radius. That's one. That's two. Oh god, no. God damn it. Alright, well, let's just use that and use that really quickly. I was so close! No! Motherfucker! Okay, so what I need to do is I need to swap back to the fire, to the inferno shield. You motherfucker. Around the tables. That's what I need to do. I need to go around these tables.
we're gonna put on Inferno Shield. I am being hit by him a lot more than I'd like this time. I'm gonna die, so I wanna make sure I die over right here. See, I knew it was gonna happen because I got hit way too many times. I got hit way too many times by his um, abilities. Alright, let's just finish up healing that. Yes! Oh. Holy shit. Beginner's bag of silver. 
Journeyman Soldier Armor, and Journeyman's Mercenary Hood. Oh. That was nuts. That was nuts. Oh. Oh. Let's just quickly heal that up. I didn't need to mess with that person, but I really wanted to. How do I turn this off? I don't know what that is, and it's bugging me. No, they went offline. Okay, cool. So I'm not gonna get messages from them anymore. You know that stuff. I'm just. I'm not even gonna bother with it. Not so easy that time, was it? But I'm guessing it was worth it. You can find dungeon edges all over Albion, or use a map to reveal a hidden one. Those maps can be purchased at the marketplace for a bit of a sum. Heretic keeps, suggested party size 2 plus. One of the old keeps has been overrun by heretics. But these ones are tough, very tough. You could try your luck alone, but I strongly suggest you find other adventurers to aid you. Either ask for help here in the city, or head to the keep and find adventurers there. All right, well, let's accept it, and high risk, high rewards. The open world offers a plethora of different activities. There are chests, dungeons, mob camps, world bosses, and much more. As the open world is more dangerous than expeditions, it offers greater overall rewards. Well, 
Let's quickly use these. As a normal, and that's good. So that's higher. Don't be shy. Seven fifty, seventy-five percent above average. So let's go five hundred. That's seventeen percent. We'll go down from there. Four forty six. Five hundred at seven above, so that's perfect. Four ninety. And then the journeyman's Whoa! Why are you putting it nine hundred and sixty five above? Fuck that. Let's do a thousand. Sixty four percent above. Okay, 750, 23, let's do 500 at 18 below, so let's do 650. Six hundred and thirty. Okay, let's do 631, just so that's an even 580 there. Ooh, what's this? Oh shit, that sold instantly. So did that. Whoa. I literally just put those in. I swear to God, if this pops up again saying, oh, hey, you have a new sale. I'm be baffled. Why is it so much? That's going to bankrupt me. What the fuck? I think it'll be cheaper to just go make new ones. <laughs> It would be cheaper to just go make new ones and then salvage those ones. Alright, so let's see. So we have the Journeyman's Battle Axe, which needs 8 chestnut planks and 16 bronze bars. As well as the Journeyman's Shield, which needs 4 chestnut and 4 bronze bar. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Yep, there's that one sold. Journeyman Soldier Armor. Okay, so we want our bronze bar. We don't have a lot of bronze bar, but we have a lot of chestnut planks. Uh, I don't want to just spend all the money to repair everything, so I think what I'll do is I'll make as much okay this this is easy to go and make so we'll just go make that really quickly so I think for everything that I can make I'm going to make it but for things like the mule we'll just go and repair it It's weird to say. We'll go repair the mule. On the hunt. All right. So let's see. We need to make the journeyman's hood. Let's get to work. Of course. Help yourself. All right. That and that. That and that. That. We strike true. Uh. At your service. So that's what this is. This is showing our durability. Because this thing's at twenty nine percent. It's in the red line. We don't have enough of that, but we can go make the journeyman's cape again. Oh. 
Now, if I salvage, what does that do? We're going to salvage these and see what happens. The amount of resources can depend on the item's durability. Okay, so... Ah! Salvage, yes. Salvaging, salvage an item. Okay, so we need to go and get five more thick leather. I don't have any of my tools. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I need to get, I have the chestnut, I need to get bronze bar, and I need to get the hide. Right? Yeah, I need to get bronze bar and hide. So let's, so I'll need the skinning knife, and I'll need the pickaxe. Now let's go figure out... what I need for this. Nope, that's the wrong place. Alright, so we want thick leather, so that means we need thin hide and stiff leather. So we need the stiff leather, which is rugged hide. I'm pretty sure I still have some stiff hide. So let's just double check that. Yeah, I have stiff leather, so we don't actually need that. We just need to go and get some more thin hide. And then I need some more tin ore, because I have enough I have a copper bar stone. Excuse me. Right. I'll make the three that I can there. Three more bronze bar. Let's put the copper bar away for now. We don't need that. And then let's grab that, see if I can go and craft one of the things that we need. Yes. I can craft the nothing. I can craft the nothing. leave that was brutal and yeah I'm not bankrupting myself to go and repair everything so we're just gonna go and wait is this the right area does this have everything I need so we are over here at fractured yes okay so it has everything I need So I need to get Thin Hide, which is the tier 3 stuff from the Moa Birds and the Cougars, and then I need to get Tin. Those are the only things that I need.
I don't need a lot of thin hide, luckily, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. But I do want to try and avoid wrecking my armor that I just got. That worked out. That was lucky. Two and fifty. That should be good, actually. Ah, no. What am I doing? I want to see if I can find some more tin just before we leave. The chances are we're just going to head out now. Alright, we found a little bit more tin. that we are going to head back to the steps I haven't used this ability yet so I'm very curious as to how this works jump as soon as I get attacked
I gotta wait 40 seconds for it to be able to activate again. As we'll look around for some more tin while we're waiting. And with this, journey back is ready again, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Does this take oh it takes you all the way back to step cross okay that's actually really nice all right now we need our gold and we need our that and that and that oh we are Heavily encumbered now. No, I don't want to do that. Make bronze bars. Goodbye. And then we'll go to the tanner now. And make thick leather. And we are no longer overloaded. And we should be able to swap everything back now that we don't need. Ah, okay, so this is where we are no longer able to move. So, okay, so this is cool. So 100 to 130% will slow me down by 20%. 30 to 130 to 60 160% will slow me down by 50%. 160 to 180% slow me down by 70 and 180 to 200% I'm not able to move. Cool. 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 That's a lot. Good day. All right. And we'll make the journeyman's bag. I have enough for that. And we'll talk to the blacksmith here. Make a journeyman. Oh, I forgot my chestnut locks. That is kind of important. Don't need that anymore, though. Or that. All right, now let's make the journeyman's battle axe. And the journeyman's shield. This I would like to repair so that I can sell it. Because it's a good quality. But the rest we're just salvaging. That salvage that. Mercy. Now it's only two thousand to repair all, so we're gonna repair everything in my inventory. Buying or selling. We are selling. 
specifically the journeyman's axe. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's see. What what was it at 18% again? 3,500, right? So yeah, that's what it had it set as 3,500. So 3,500, remember that. So let's go 3,000. That's still awesome. Even if we just do 3,000, that's nuts. you 3100 is four percent yeah okay so we're just gonna i know it's a little bit egregious at 18 percent above average but we're just gonna go for it and see what happens if it doesn't sell it doesn't sell and we'll change the prices accordingly and we'll put it down a little bit but why not try it all right but with that we are running low on time so we are going to go ahead and wrap up our stream here for tonight. This was a ton of fun. I absolutely love this game. I will be playing a little bit more off camera. Just doing a little bit more of the the crafting and selling side of things. I'm going to leave the quests. Um, like, uh, I might do some of this stuff. I don't know. Um, but this here... The, this combat quest and this big city quest from the set I'm going to save that for when I'm on stream but for the most part I'm going to continue to play this game off camera but I'm just going to be doing more of the gathering and crafting side of things um, just because I feel like that takes up a decent chunk of my of what I want to do within this playthrough and that's going to get boring quickly so this still has not sold as far as I know the 7,000 yeah 10% above average so so it's not too bad um, but yeah so we're going to I'm going to continue to play this game behind the scenes, but simply because with everything that I have planned for this game and with what I want to do, it's just going to be... I'm just going to go and look at all these really quickly just so I can go and get rid of the things. Um, but it's just going to be a lot of time taken up in the stream that I don't want to be taking like I don't want to be taking up I'd rather be doing that I'd rather be showing you stuff on the stream that's more entertaining that I think everybody would enjoy more so um so yeah I'm going to play more of this game off stream but it's it's entirely just going to be uh it's entirely going to be on the crafting gathering and selling side of things uh, i will continue to show like what i've achieved and everything but for the meantime it's going to be a lot off camera but thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed tonight's stream. It was a lot of fun. I loved it. Even though I was getting my ass handed to me by Murphy. No, sorry. That was last night's stream. Uh, that was the the heretic old shopper. But, I mean, I, I, I don't think anybody would blame me for getting them confused. Because, man, did they just beat my ass like the exact same person. But it was a ton of fun. I enjoyed it, as always. I hope to see you all on Saturday when we're going to be playing Dead Island 2. So that's going to be a ton of fun. We will be playing this again on Tuesday. And then after that, we won't be seeing it for a while. I do have my random stream schedule set up. It's not. Go it's going to be a little bit different than previous random stream stuff. There won't be many Fortnite streams on it. Um because i am planning on uh streaming sea of thieves 
and the wife and I are also going to be doing our uh, Little Kitty Big City streams. I might move some things around so that we can do a Fortnite stream as well, especially considering um, when we next stream on the week on the uh, random stuff. Yeah. The so we are going to be doing a stream on the twenty fourth. So that's next week on the on Friday. Next next Friday, we're going to be doing a stream for Fortnite on that day because that is going to be the launch of Chapter Five, Season Three, Wrecked. And so we are very excited for that. We are going to be streaming um, Fortnite on that day as well. But for the most part, not not as much Fortnite streams this coming random week uh hopefully i can move some things around to make it work but i just don't know yet thank you so much for watching tonight's stream though i hope you all enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you all on saturday but until then have a good night everybody Stay the night.